Hello my dear students, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss the model question paper pattern for the 2022 scheme of uh, second semester BE degree examination for the subject code BMAT S201 which is only for computer science engineering stream. So the question uh, paper contains uh, five uh, full questions. You need to choose at least one question from each module and you need to answer. So they are going to give an uh, formula handbook for you. So you can make use of a formula handbook uh, uh, to solve uh, any problems here. Along with this, uh, along with this discussion, I am going to uh, tell you how to score easily a minimum of 70 marks. How to score easily minimum of 70 marks if you just follow whatever I am going to say in that manner definitely you can score this minimum 70 marks. If we move on to module 1, module 1 is of uh, multiple integrals and also along with that uh, beta gamma function will be there. If you just study uh, double or triple integrals definitely one question will be there. So you can just easily score 7 marks from the module 1 definitely. So uh, apart from that, they are, they are going to provide one question from given uh, double integration changing into polar coordinates and also one problem will be of beta gamma function. So definitely this can also be studied one definition one uh, this uh, proof will be there for you show that uh, beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. So if you score uh, if you study this also easily you can score six marks here. So uh, in alternate uh, choice question they have given uh, by changing the order of integration we need to evaluate this double integration. So by giving uh, by changing uh, sorry by using uh, the double integration find the area of a plate in the form of a quadrant uh, of the ellipse. They have provided the ellipse you need to find the uh, area by using double integration. So and also they have been asked uh, a mathematical code to write using a mathematical tool you need to write the volume of the tetrahedron using mathematical tool. So this is what uh, the module 1 contains. So moving on to module 2 uh, your uh, vector calculus. So in vector calculus you are going to have a, a gradient divergence minimum if you study gradient this is what a gradient divergence curve definitely you can score 7 marks definitely you can score minimum of 7 marks so and also if you consider here also see here also they are asking to find grad phi that is gradient they have provided uh, phi you need to find out grad phi at the given point you see if you study these two definitely you can score 14 marks in this module itself so let us consider just a minimum of 7 marks if you study alone how to find out a divergent curl and gradient if you study these three you, you definitely you can score 7 marks or else if you study uh, irrotational or a solenoidal it is also enough if you are from these two they are going to definitely give one problem so this is what uh, we can go with uh, from module 2 and also one problem will be compulsory from one code writing a um, uh, MATLAB code or Python code or Scilab code. So moving on to module 3. Module 3 is of uh, vector space. So I think it was a uh, new uh, syllabus for this uh, batch. So in uh, vector space you can at least study uh, how to show that the set of uh, uh, the given set of S yes subsets is a linear dependent or linear independent such type of problems. Uh, go with the selective problems if you are feeling uh, difficulty in solving this vector space so you can at least uh, go with this type of problems just if you find out uh, the determinant of this is uh, equal to zero or not equal to zero we can say that it is dependent or independent that's all or else you can go with uh, finding the rank of that matrix you can say that it is dependent or independent this is the way of uh, solving uh, the problem called uh, um, dependent and independent. So for that reason I can tell you minimum 7 marks you can score here from this module. Or else uh, there is an another uh, question. Uh, definitely one question will be asked uh, that is uh, on rank nullity theorem or um, orthogonality or 
uh, they can also ask uh, basis and uh, dimension problem uh, using basis and dimension problem so this is what i can say from uh, uh, module 3 so if you move on to module 4 uh, module 4 is of numerical method 1 so you are going to have uh, a few methods uh, to study here one is uh, newton raphson method next is regular falsi method so if they ask here newton raphson definitely in alternate choice they are going to ask uh, regular falsi method and you have lagrange's uh, interpolation method here they can ask if they ask uh, regular uh, lagrange's uh, there here they are going to ask a uh, newton divided difference since uh, these two are unequal intervals that's why they were they are going to ask the question number uh, three will be definitely from numerical integration under numerical integration you have three categories one is uh, uh, trapezoidal rule uh, second one is simpsons one by third rule third one is simpsons three by eight rule if you study this module definitely you can score 20 out of 20 marks so whatever i am saying you concentrate on that if you study numerical under uh, numerical method one if you study newton raphson method no need of studying the regular falsi method but uh, if you are uh, uh, studying uh, here you cannot take advantage uh, yeah, since there will be an alternate uh, choice here instead of lagrange they can also provide here newton divided difference that's why make a choice in question number 7b make a choice in question number 7b you can thorough with question number 7a you can thorough with question number 7a means uh, you can study both the neutral raphson method and also regular falsi method have a choice in uh, uh, lagrange's and new, uh, newton's divided difference then in uh, numerical integration you study all the three methods definitely you can score 20 out of 20 marks i am assuring you you can definitely score 20 out of 20 marks so coming to module uh, 4 5 that is of numerical methods uh, 2 in this module you have only just uh, four uh, uh, methods are there only four methods one is uh, taylor series method then is modified euler's method then runge kutta method of fourth order and finally you have milnes method if you study all the four method or any three methods definitely you can score 20 out of 20 in this uh, module so now you can calculate now see now from uh, module uh, module 2 uh, module 4 and module 5 you are going to score 20 out of 20 marks from module uh, 3 you are going to score uh, 7 marks from module uh, 2 you are going to score 7 marks in module 1 you are going to score uh, 13 marks see here i will calculate now in module 1 in module 1 you are going to score 13 marks in module 2 you, you are able to score 7 marks in module 3 you are able to score 7 marks in module 4 you can score 20 marks in module 5 you can score 20 marks calculate here 20 plus 20 40 40 plus uh, uh, 7 47 47 plus uh, 7 54 54 plus 13 so definitely you can score minimum of uh, minimum of you can score 67 so plus or minus you can have here 5 marks definitely you can score easily 70 marks my dear students i need to inform you one more thing when you observe this uh, model question paper uh, you, you can see three compulsory questions from module 1 module 2 module 5 that is of lab session so from lab part they are going to give three compulsory question so you can refer the lab code which have been uh, taught in your college it may be matlab code or scilab code or python code you go through tho those three codes and you can implement uh, uh, in your uh, examination so if you feel easy to write down those codes you can also score more than 70 marks here my dear students so uh, keep in your mind so there will be a three lab session questions in your final examination question paper yes it is easy to score 70 marks but don't think that whatever the question paper uh, i am displaying here uh, as a model question paper it will be exactly as same as uh, in your uh, final examination so it is just a reference uh, i am giving here 
uh, also VTU is uh, providing for you. So you can refer this model question paper and implement same categories of problems in your final examination. Uh, and also I will be uploading this uh, question paper in my uh, YouTube channel. You can refer uh, description. So in the description I will give the link. You can download this model question paper. There is a model question paper 2 also being provided. You can go through that model question paper 2 also. This is what model question paper 2. So refer these two model question paper and uh, uh, thorough with the examination. I thank you all for watching this uh, YouTube channel. If you like this uh, video, kindly do subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thank you all for watching this.